for inviting me to your um to your house where I believe you create your designs. And um, I'm just really happy to get a chance to talk to you about the art direction. And I'm kind of interested in um, art direction when it comes to fashion. But why don't we start with a question, why, uh, what does the art direction mean? Because it's such a broad topic, I think, like broad the definition. And like, I, I tried to re read about it and yeah, it's like yeah. so confusing. That's something that comes up a lot. It's like a really <laughs> hard thing to define. Um, and on the course I just graduated from was like one of the first like art direction courses in Europe and it was like a running joke that no one really knew what it meant. Uh, so I guess the best way to define it is it's about um, directing the creative process but it goes across um, like a range of different industries like you could have one for publication, mm -hmm. one for advertising, one for films. Um, so you can have an art director in all of those fields, in all of those fields, um, and especially fashion. There's always art directors in fashion, which mm -hmm. is sort of what I'm trying to go into. All right. Yeah. And I'm thinking if art director is a person like the same person as creative director, or there's what's the difference? Uh yeah. So that's something that crops up a lot too. Art direction is like a design discipline, uh, while creative direction is more of a like a job position mm -hmm. so the person who's um, approving all of the creative decisions in the company is always the creative director mm -hmm. so for example um, with your magazine you are the creative director because you're approving all the creative decisions yes. um, but you might not be from a design background or doing anything with those creative decisions yourself mm -hmm. while an art director um, will usually be from like a design background or a videography background. So you're basically yeah. doing the whole the, yeah. the creative idea. Yeah. <laughs> and who is more important? Is, is um, always the creative director. The creative director is always the most important, um, uh, like creative person mm -hmm. in the company. And yeah. is art director important when it comes to publication? Well, it depends. You can have like a junior art director, a senior art director, mm -hmm. but they are pretty important. Um, but only in the sense that they make a lot of decisions. Yeah. Um, but you, you might find that like the person that they're ordering around might even mm -hmm. be more important in the company than mm -hmm. them. But it just so happens that they get to make the creative decisions. Do every publication have um, art, 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 art directors? I would say, yeah, like I would say nearly all publications have an art director. Yeah. Right. And let's say, um, let's move from the publication. Um, let's say I'm a fashion designer and I want to set up my brand. Uh, obviously, at the beginning, I have to design clothes, show the clothes. And but um, what's the most important thing I should do when it comes to directing um, art? Um, so the most important thing would be if you're lucky enough to work with an art director, they would do it for you. But mm -hmm. if you're just starting out, you may not be able to find someone or afford someone to be an art director for you, so you have to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. And you would just have to do um, like activities, ac exercises, and basically things that an art director would be doing, like mood boarding, mm -hmm. research, um, trying to find the visual language, mm -hmm. um, like understand what the brand you're trying to develop is really about right. um, and what it's definitely not about. And what's the visual language that you're talking about? So visual language is, it's, I would say one of the best ways to, best ways to explain it is that visual language is like real language, like, like words, like almost like key words, mm -hmm. but obviously you don't write down the key words, you have to sort of explain it only in a visual way. Mm -hmm. So for example, um, if you have a brand in mind, um, every brand, um, probably has like a set of key words that they want to express in a campaign or for their whole brand like throughout its whole existence like so for example Prada might be like um futurism uh technology mm -hmm. um modernity uh Gucci at the moment might be like fantasy um Italy luxury mm -hmm. um but you have to find a way of expressing that without saying it so only oh, so yeah yeah <laughs> only in the images you're using using and the materials you're using mm -hmm. yeah all so right. that's what a visual language is wow all right <laughs> and let's move to um, kind of fashion photography now 
Uh, what's a good fashion image? Um, I would say a good fashion image is one that's that is simple, um, purposeful, not too crowded, not too complex. Mm-hmm. Um, and people like Nick Knight, and Fabian Baron, and Alistair MacLeod, uh, people like that. Uh, who are both like art directors and photographers, you can sort of see in their work that there's always a strong, clear idea that cuts through. Mm-hmm. Okay, and do you think that um, there is like a psychology behind those images? Let's say there is a new collection of yeah, Prada, and uh, obviously they show the pictures of models wearing those beautiful clothes and stuff, but is there any anything else behind the whole picture? You know what I mean? Yeah, there usually is a lot of... Um, like backstory and psychology that the consumer wouldn't see um, within an image. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sometimes it's not even for the consumer to get, but when you're you're going through the creative process, especially, for example, if I was an art director talking to a creative director, I might say we should do um, a shot of her in the blue dress against like an American flag. Mm -hmm. And the creative director would be like, why? And I wouldn't just be able to say, oh, it's because I like American flags. I would mm-hmm. have to give real reasons, like, mm-hmm. through, like, research and mood boarding and, um, yeah, like, testing of, like, why I've made these creative mm-hmm. decisions. So even though sometimes maybe an image doesn't need a backstory, it usually has a backstory right. in order to get it through the creative process. Right. An art director is basically... Mm, like you have to do it like it's your thing to do that kind of behind the scenes um yeah yeah okay and i would like to kind of move to social media do you think that social media create more opportunities or challenges now when it comes to directing art or creating an an image of a brand i would say definitely both um it's created like so much more opportunity um in the sense that now everyone um, has the opportunity to be able to um, enter business. Mm -hmm. There's a lower level of entry, like a lower barrier to entry. Um, Whereas before, if you wanted to start a fashion brand, you would need PR people that could get your clothes into magazines, Mm -hmm. um, on billboards, or maybe on TV, onto celebrities. That was like the only advertising streams, which are really, Um, expensive um, Mm -hmm. to access now um, it's like really all you need is an Instagram account but the only problem with that is now sort of the market's flooded Mm -hmm. I still believe that there's like it's it's flooded but it's still constantly expanding Mm -hmm. there's room for a lot of people okay cool and um, do you think that um, people like let's say um, that the brand has only Instagram account do you think that they can kind of win something in the in the industry 100 percent. yeah 100 i've seen it loads of times um i think like with paloma wool is a good example she started with just an instagram account and now she's like a internationally famous brand mm-hmm. um i think i think the same with a cold wool um started from mostly just an instagram account it's now like a six-figure brand mm-hmm. um yeah it's very possible to start with just an instagram account all right, and I would like to mm, know more what you like about general um, di- directing art. Like, what's your? Um, generally, I feel like it's extremely important, and extremely underrated, and it's really crazy how many people um, go to art school and design school and they come out not really knowing what art direction is. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I would say that, like, especially within fashion brands, every um just about every head or brand or founder is is an art director um just by default because mm-hmm. they're they're usually having to work that way from the beginning like mood boarding things creating a visual language creating a brand um and putting it all together mm-hmm. and just to quickly add to that like a lot of my favorite fashion designers started off as what you might call art directors rather than fashion designers Mm -hmm. yeah that's good to know and i feel like you're a kind of 
a magician because <laughs> you're basic you can basically make a video out of a piece of paper right and um yeah can you just tell me where do you take inspirations from or what, what can we see here um well i usually like taking inspiration from like fine fine art um just because it's a good place to rather than looking at fashion and then trying to uh put that back into fashion because that can come across as unoriginal um or sometimes trying to look too far outside the art and design world for inspiration because mm -hmm. that can become too abstract sometimes i like to look at fine art a lot because it's like a nice in between mm -hmm. like so for example with this um this weird canvas thing mm -hmm. i was looking a lot at um a german artist called Fra franz erhard walter you done like a lot of things with um with fabric and okay. installing it on walls and making these things that were kind of like clothing but not really quite clothing mm -hmm. so it's sort of he was like making fashion installations but in the art world all right yeah. and how do i read it uh sign all right so it's actually like right. a german it's actually a german word that means uh being like exi existence okay and why yeah. that name um just because <laughs> i was always very interested in like philosophy mm -hmm. and um basically the idea of sign was um i was working in like an academic space where i was like analyzing brands a lot trying to find out like what a brand actually is mm -hmm. um and eventually when it came to starting my own brand i really decided that i didn't want it to be about anything else except from itself so the whole brand is about the process itself of making a brand all right wow you have so many ideas <laughs> and i really liked your idea with uh, redesigning uh, one brand's um instagram oh yeah yeah uh, so i have a little task for you okay. i have um found one brand and i would like you to uh, just look at uh, its instagram and tell me what you like about it what you don't like and what should be changed here changed here yeah okay take your time and so it's Jill Sander. Yes. That's definitely one of my favorite brands. I like this one. Um, and initially, I would definitely say I've always liked their photography, mm -hmm. um, and I've always liked their clothing too. It's like a great combination. Um, they're just always super, super simple. Mm -hmm. Um, in terms of maybe one thing I would say that they could change, is maybe they should have a like a sort of more more levels to their brand because i feel mm -hmm. like it's all one thing mm -hmm. there's um like i love jill sander but a lot of their things i don't think i would usually be able to wear in ordinary life mm -hmm. um and maybe they should have like things that are more casual mm -hmm. uh things that fit into everyday working life a bit more okay. yeah. and how do you like the instagram account like does it look good does it um, the Instagram account looks great. It would be very hard to find a problem with it, if I'm being honest. Yeah, you but should look at my Instagram. It's such a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Yeah. Like, no, I can't do anything with it. Uh, yeah. So, so thank you very much for it. Thank you. And are you working on any projects now? Yeah, so now I'm working on trying to set up a website. Um, I want to develop more of these jackets with, mm -hmm. with trousers too. Um, so I'm going to work on finishing that, um, also create some bags with it and then like finally just sort of like push it out to the public because I've been developing the brand for so long but in like a non-commercial way so now I want to finally like commercialise it and mm -hmm. put it out to the world and like start to practice the art of like selling things and yeah, creating the production. Yeah. Good luck with it. Thank you. Thank you very much.